What we're going to do in this video is we are going to go through each of the steps of our sales message brainstorming process. These steps are designed to help you to identify the most optimum things to say and ask for the product or service that you sell. Now, as you can see, there are six steps. And as we go through each of these steps, there will be a little bit of time and brain power invested. But one thing I want you to keep in mind is that there's actually a way to use AI to create most of this and I'll show you how that works at the end of the video. But the first step in the process is to brainstorm and organize the key details about your product and to help you to see what going through each of these steps looks like. I'm actually going to use a demonstration product and I'm going to use the product that I sell which is called Sales Scripter. So as you're brainstorming the details of what you sell, I recommend you make a list of the features that are included in your product or service. What does the customer get when they buy what you have to sell. And after you've done that, I recommend you take an additional step to think about, okay, how are these features or how is my product different from the competition? And the next step in the process is to take a step back and think about who are we going to be communicating with when using this sales message? Now this step is optional. You could skip this and just create a broad sales message that can be used for all prospects. And that's a good place to start if you're just creating your first sales message message. But when you really want to get to the next level, you can create different sales messages that are targeted to the different types of prospects that you sell to. That allows you to talk about the key hot buttons and areas of interest for that particular audience. And that will not only help you to improve your ability to grab their attention, but it could separate you from the competition and be the difference that helps you to get into new accounts. But some things to think about when creating more targeted messaging is are are there particular industries you sell into? Are you selling to different size of businesses? In B2B sales, are you selling into different departments in an organization? Are you selling into different levels of an organization? Selecting one of these details at this step could lead you to creating a completely different sales message. For example, if you can sell to different departments in an organization, the product you sell to those different departments might be exactly the same, but those departments might care about completely different things, leading to you talking about different benefits and different pain points and asking different questions. But as I mentioned, certainly you could create a broad sales message where you use the same message and same script for all the different prospects you sell to. But for demonstration purposes of this process, I'm going to create a target audience of sales trainers. And the next step in the process is to brainstorm the value that your product or service has to offer or deliver. And so our goal here at this step is just simply to brainstorm between three to six improvements that our product or service can deliver to the target audience. And you might be able to think of a few improvements off the top of your mind, but I'm actually going to give you a checklist or a cheat sheet here that you can work down to help you to think of improvements or help you to make sure you're not missing anything. And the first is, does your product or service help to make something work better? Do you help to make something easier? Do you help to decrease time, increase revenue or income, decrease costs or expenses, improve the product that the customer sells, decrease risk in some way or another, improve visibility and access to information. And so what you can do is you can think about what you sell and do you help in any of those areas? And to help with that, we can actually bring back the details of our product in terms of what we sell and features and functionality and look at each of those points and go through this list and say, does this feature help to make something work better, make something easier, decrease risk, decrease costs? costs in any way. And as you're doing this brainstorming, you want to keep in mind the target audience. So if we're thinking about, do we make something work better? We're creating a message for sales trainers. So do we make something work better specifically for sales trainers? Do we make something easier for sales trainers? It's that additional step that leads you to creating more targeted messaging. So just to show you what this looks like, if we go through this for sales scripter, keeping in mind sales trainers, we help sales trainers to make it easier to teach reps what to say and ask. We help sales trainers to decrease new hire ramp up time. We help sales trainers to improve the performance for every rep on the team. The next step in the process is to brainstorm the pain points your product or service can help make go away for your prospect. This is helpful to creating a powerful sales message because people are often quicker to solve problems and spend money 
to either avoid something from hurting or to stop something from hurting. So what we want to do is we want to brainstorm between three to six challenges or concerns or problems that your product or service can help to solve for the target audience that we're creating a sales message for. And if I were to ask you what pain points do you help to solve, you might already have a couple points or problems in your head, and that's great. Put those to the side because I wanna show you a process here that will not only make it easier to brainstorm a list of pain points for what you sell, but this process will help you to create an optimum set of pain points to focus on because what we do is we bring back the improvements that your product or service helps to deliver to the target audience that we're going to be communicating with. And we use those to brainstorm an optimum set of pain points because for each improvement that you help to solve, there's a bit of a yin and a yang relationship here with there being an opposite pain point for each improvement. And what I mean by that is that whenever you're improving something to make it work better, there is an opposite thing that is going away or being avoided. And we can turn that into a pain point that we can talk about about with the prospect to either grab their attention or build their interest in buying what we sell. So what we can do is we can look at each improvement one by one and ask ourselves, what is the opposite of that improvement? What is the problem that goes away when we create that improvement? Or what problem starts to happen if the customer does not buy our product or service and is not able to incorporate that improvement into their life or their business? So if we go through this process looking at Sales Scripter and again, and keeping in mind, we're trying to think of pain points or problems for sales trainers to create very targeted and optimum messaging. We can come up with challenges that are the opposite of our list of improvements in that sales trainers can find it difficult to teach reps all the different things they need to say and ask for all of the different products or services that, that they sell. And with that, it can take a long time for businesses and sales trainers to ramp up new sales hires and get them producing. And because of all these difficulties in most sales organizations, there's usually not enough reps performing well. And the next step in the process is to create an optimum set of questions to ask for the product or service that you sell. I personally believe the best salesperson is the one that asks the best questions. And you could agree with that 100%, but still not know what questions to ask. This process right here will help you to create an optimum set of questions to ask. And that list of questions can transform all of your your interactions and calls and meetings with prospects. So in this video, I'm gonna actually show you two different categories of questions to create. The first category is what I refer to as pain questions. These are basically questions that probe to see if the prospect has the pain points or challenges or concerns that your product or service can help make go away. And these are fairly easy to create because what we can do is we can bring back the pain points that we created on the last step because for each pain point that your product or service can help with, there is a question that we can ask to see if that is something that the prospect is concerned about. So what we can do is we can look at each pain point and then just ask ourselves, what question could we ask to see if the prospect has that challenge or concern? So going through this list one at a time, we can come up with a list of pain questions such as how difficult is it to get reps to know what to say and ask? How do you feel about the time it takes to get new sales reps ramped up and producing? How much of a priority is it to get reps performing better? So here we have a short list of pain questions for this demo example. And I'm not going to say that these questions are perfect, but this process led us to create a very good set of questions that we can ask prospects. And I can tell you one thing for sure. These questions are better than asking, how's everything going? Are you having any challenges? What are your pain points? And there's a second category of questions that I recommend you create and ask. And those are what I refer to as current state questions. These are questions that help you to identify what is the prospect doing in the area where you have something to sell. For example, if you sold cars, you should ask current state questions of, do you have a car today? What year is it? How many miles does it have? How is it running? How many family members do you have? And so current state questions are going to be completely unique for each product. And I can't give you a list of current state questions that you can ask, but I have created a list of areas that you might want to think about creating a question for. For example, you could create a question to ask if the prospect currently has what you sell, who they're currently buying from or who they bought from last. 
any details around their current systems or processes, maybe people in the organization, ask about current contracts or expiration dates, any sizing details, performance details, maybe the last time they looked at purchasing what you sell. So here's just an example of current state questions for the demonstration product of Sales Scripter. Are you currently using any type of sales script or sales playbook? Do you currently use any type of sales methodology? Do you provide sales training to your staff? Do you provide new hire onboard training? How many sales reps do you have? Are you doing any cold outreach? What is your sales staff turnover rate? How long does it take to get reps ramped up and performing? When was the last time you looked at improving your sales training? And the last step in our sales message brainstorming process is to create an example of another customer that you sold your product or service to that you can share with prospects to further explain the product or service that you sell and how it helps and build their interest and establish credibility. Now you could probably tell a long story about different customers you've worked with in the past but here is a template you could use to create a very short and concise customer example. And it's concise in a way that you could use it in a voicemail message and a cold email message as an introduction to a cold call. And the way we create this short, concise example is by answering four questions. The name of a customer that you've worked with in the past. What was a problem they had that either brought them to you or that you helped to solve? What did you sell them or provide them? Them to solve that problem. And then what are a couple improvements that they were able to achieve or realize purchasing and using the product or service you sell? So here's just a quick example of what going through those four questions might look like. We worked with a sales trainer at a software company. The problem this customer had is they had difficulty getting their reps to learn the pitch, to know what to say and ask. And we helped to solve that with our product of Sales Scripter. And this helped to make it easier for the sales trainers to teach all the different things they need to say and ask and that led to ultimately improve the performance for every rep on the team. And so that is our sales message brainstorming process. And here is a quick glance of what going through each of those steps for the demonstration product here created. And each of those steps creates what we refer to as building blocks. So you end up with a value points building block, a pain points building block, pain questions and whatnot. And then you can mix and match those building blocks to create a lot of different sales tools and documents. Here is an example of using those blocks to create a cold call script, an appointment script, email campaign, voicemail messages, objection responses, and a lot more. And as I mentioned, it can take a little bit of time and brain power to create this, but now I wanna show you how you can use AI to create all of this for the product or service that you sell. Sales Scripter has an area called the Sales Message Builder, and it completely aligns with all of the steps that we just went through. And you can either fill that out and answer those questions, manually for the product or service that you sell, or you can use AI to go through and answer all of the questions for you and create your sales message. All you have to do is enter the product that you sell. And for demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna put recruiting services, then enter the company you work for. And then you have an option here to be specific or broad regarding the target audience. Here's where you could put CEOs or IT managers or oil and gas businesses. For demonstration purposes, I'm just gonna leave this broad with businesses and create a broad sales message. But if I hit click start here, what the software is doing is it's basically going out and communicating with ChatGBT and it's asking ChatGBT to create a list of features and differentiation and benefits and pain points and pain questions and current state questions for the product that we entered, which was recruiting services and selling that product to the target audience that we specified. So if you were either feeling worried about creating these answers or feeling lazy, you can use AI to create the first version of your sales message and then build on that by either deleting or trimming the answers to make them fit with what you need. And that is pretty much it. If you have questions or want more information, the best place to go is salescriptor.com. Thanks for being here. Hope this was helpful and we look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.